fade. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. If I get this mic in the right place. And we are back with a Patreon request from our patron Bruce. Right there. <laughs> um, it is a new band. I have never heard of them before. We've never done them on the channel before. Um, Uriah Heap. And the song is called The Magician's Birthday. Um, kind of trippy artwork for the cover. Um, that's the only thing I have to go by, so I'm guessing it's going to be a good time. <laughs> Thank you again, Bruce, for your uh, support, man. You rock. I really appreciate the kind words you always give me all the time. You're, you're the best, bro. I appreciate you. Let's do this. If you guys aren't subscribed, please help it brother out. Click the icon. Wait. Right down there. I'd really appreciate it. it. takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free, and it really, really helps the channel out. You have no idea. It really does. It would help if you were in frame, my friend. Okay. Uriah Heap, The Magician's Birthday. Three, two, one, hit it. That artwork is crazy. singing some were dancing while the midnight moon shone brightly overhead it's a nice riff the stars so gaily glistened and the sphinx in silence listened to the magician tell of lives that he had led let the bells of freedom ring songs all right let's check out my pillows and guess what It has a Zeppelin feel to it. It's in the forest, but not so far away. Much to do, Ooh, that bass. so much to say. While we listen to the Orchid Orchestra play. It's got a nice voice, too, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Still got a few months, but that's alright. This is trippy. <laughs> There's definitely some acid involved with this one. <laughs> Got a nice little rhythm to it though, I like it. Make sure you just bop your head back and forth. Sounds like there's like a kazoo in the background. The riff definitely has like a Jimmy Page feel to it, or sound I mean, and feel it. What the fuck is about to happen, yo? <laughs> Bruce, what have you done? Ooh, that piano. Whoa, this is a trip. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, this is reminding me what happened last night. Oh my god, y'all. Do I have a story for you? Here we go. All right, drummer, here we go. Holy shit. What year is this from? What the fuck? It's not like a thrash solo from the 80s. Wow. Oh man, there's that wah pedal. Dude, these electronics are tripping me out. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't hit the pen before I listen to this one. Sorry, I just got off work. The drummer and guitarist are going off, bro. Dude, I want to play this so bad. It's so much fun. These things, I don't like these things. <laughs> it's very disorienting. These last like three minutes have been nuts. It's still going. That drummer's me so tired, yeah, oh my god. And the guitars. I'm just like going like this on the table. I promise. Every time. Nope, not the end. Oh, the way he's hitting the snare so nice. That hi hat's like, I don't even, is he like leaving it open? I don't, how's he getting that sound? Yeah. It's not like blast beats. What year is this from? Like, what the fuck? This is not how I expected it to go at all after the first two minutes. This is awesome. I challenge you, I challenge you all, for all you own and all you know. And that was so cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Like five minutes straight. It's like three different songs in one. My lucky number. 13. See, now it's got more of like a regular rock feel to it.
Wow. The singer's making up for not doing nothing for like five minutes. Unless he plays the guitar or something too. Then I'll and then I'm stupid. Dude, this this was awesome. I definitely want to listen to more by these guys. Good pick, Bruce. a trippy ending too man what the fuck wow man is that like acid rock with like some frog in it like I don't know what the fuck that was I'm just like stumbling in all these new bands bro that was really good well that was The Magician's Birthday by Uriah Heep wow thank you again Bruce that was a great pick man um, where do I even start with that well like, like I said it felt like three different songs like there was the first part then the solo, like, duel off between the drummer and the guitarist, and then there was the ending. Um, my favorite part was definitely the middle part, obviously. That was amazing. Um, I really didn't like the first part, honestly. I mean, I see what it was doing now, now that I've heard, like, the whole entire song, but I wasn't the biggest fan of the first, like, part. But once you got up to the guitar drum solo off and then the ending, that little trippy ending there, that I really liked that. The, from the second half on, that was great. Um... I don't even know how to like, dude, he literally was soloing for like five minutes straight and it was not, it was different. He was like shredding, then he was tapping and then he went back to like these crazy riffs. I mean, like he literally did everything that a guitar can do, I think, except he didn't break it. That was literally the only thing he didn't do. Um, <laughs> like, wow, that was absolutely insane. Please let me know what that guitarist name is because that was up there with that Chicago solo I listened to. Um, that was just incredible. Um, also, the drummer, like, he was killing it, too. I mean, he was keeping up every inch with the guitarist as the guitarist is going nuts. I mean, the drummer was, dare I say, a little more crazy. I mean, he was just killing it back there. And the way he was using his hi-hat and the snare, just going back and forth and, like, doing these little fills in between, like, really, really quickly, I, that was just a very adept drumming right there paired with that uh, adept guitar work. Just fantastic. Um, the vocalist didn't really, I mean... He got some work towards the end there, definitely. Um, I liked his vocals at the end. He hit those two high notes at the end there. That was just incredible as well. Uh, like I said, I was not expecting it. After the first part, I'm just like, okay, this is cool. It's just like a rock song or whatever. No, you were in for a treat, my friend. Uh, that was really, really good. Thank you again, Bruce. Um, I definitely would check these guys out again and see what else they have to offer. I'm guessing this is one of their like magnum opus songs, like one of their best songs, I'm guessing. Um, if not, then hey. They have better other songs like this. I'll definitely check it out. That was really, really good. Um, yeah, definitely. Thank you so much uh, for watching, guys. If you didn't know, we have a Patreon right here. Go check it out. We are up to 23 members. We got another one this morning. Like, what the fuck? You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the support you give me. You have no idea how much it helps. Uh, seriously, like, um, y'all are literally uh, saving me and my family's life right now in more ways than one. And I really, really appreciate you guys. So I'd appreciate it if you go check that out, if you got the extra spending money. And if that's not your thing, we also have a PayPal and a Cash App right here for donations. Make sure to send it as just as uh, money and not uh, like goods and services because I had someone do that and I don't. I had to refund the money and everything because I have to ship them something, like a shipping label. Like, fuck PayPal. It's so stupid. But that's the way to do it, and uh, that's the way to help and support the channel. And if you do a donation, you get your name added to the video that – wait. The video that plays – now.